This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. And of course, on this program, we'll bring to you the biggest entertainment stories and definitely analyze them. I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Hi. It's good. It's good. Hi, it's good. guys. Good. It's good. How are you doing? Well, how are you? Bless, man. We missed you yesterday. Missed you too. Well, I watched the show. It was fire. It was nice. Which of them? Morning. Morning show. Let me know. You like. don't watch after no, I don't watch after oh. <laughs> Okay, moving on to a good news. Davido's recent album becomes um, most streamed African album release in 2019. The news was made known by Columbia Records UK via Twitter. The post read, huge congrats to Davido. A good time has officially reached over 1 billion streams. Mad thing, fam. Big shout out to Davido, man. Mm -hmm. Davido just keeps showing us his resilience, his hard work, and he keeps winning regardless. Hate it or love it, man. The brother has to just keep winning. He can't help it. So <laughs> I just love that about him, like, mm. man. And it's been off the news, like, usually would have been the one to post this, mm. but it's, it's, it's not been on social media. Well, thank media. God, though. You don't have said he used to post his wins. Now, nah, this time around, he did not post it. Somebody, <laughs> yeah, are you happy yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Sometimes it, I think that No, it's break, one of the things you pointed break, I'm just yeah, saying that you are happy. It's not about being happy. I think that break <laughs> is actually necessary. You know, sometimes you've been all up in our faces, mm. and then we begin to forget how valuable Please, you are. Please, we miss are. you, David. We well, do not forget you, your value at all. No, no, now we're, we're beginning to realize that Omar, we miss we? David Do. Now, when I say we, I, I'm speaking for me and my squad. Me and my guys, <laughs> me and, me and my guys there. Your guys. <laughs> you get, your guys. Okay. So you have I'll, to choose you're on keep... the winning side. Uh, so your guys are the winning side? Well, my team is the winning side. I don't know about yours. Unfortunately, I'm not interested in that particular mm. winning, but it's okay. Oh, well, we, we, we all define our wins, don't we? <laughs> okay, you know well, in regards to the album, I'm happy for David Do. It's really nice. One billion is a brag, mm -hmm. okay? No, um, yeah. It is a big brag, and I'm happy for him. The, the album actually is fire for the most part i think there's one song that i always try to listen to and i always skip but even then it's not a bad song it's just not like ringing in my yeah, ears yeah. yeah but either way it's like he put a lot of work because i remember when he was talking about how he came about this video this album do you remember like he was tweeting a lot that he's the f about his dad about the songs and how the stories so difficult had... for him to choose the songs that will be yeah, on the album because so there like, were so many singles yeah actually. and i think sometimes in our generation we sometimes forget the process and we want the wins like i think everybody wants a billion streams for their albums but people don't really emphasize as much on the work so i like that this particular album he at least he kind of took us through the process when he was working on it so it makes me feel like yeah this guy actually deserved it because mm -hmm. one time he was in the studio really working his buttocks off and <laughs> i'm really proud of him i'm so happy for him so so yeah, happy um, definitely definitely i don't think i need to say it's safe i'm happy for david i mean yeah. this album caused a lot of conversation online some people said it was bad some people said yeah. it was just there it did not meet expectation i'm like you know what if you don't like david do just do stream yeah. at, at least a billion people I love mean, it so that's a big mm. deal i mean i can't stream. start counting i still stream it yeah even on my way to work i still do so yes well done um, to Davido for this one, and I'm sure he's happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm moving on to another story. Egypt sentences women to two years in prison for TikTok videos. An Egyptian court on Monday convicted two women who are social media stars on charges of family values and each of them to two years imprisonment. The court also found three men guilty on charges of helping post the women's video and received the same sentence. The convictions um, were the first verdicts from a series of at least nine arrests made since April of young Egyptian women who are prominent on TikTok. Hmm. <sighs> well, um, it's it's the country's law, right? So it doesn't mean we're in support of it, but um, sometimes we need to realize that Islamic states have different laws that we may not understand, right? But it's what is there. It doesn't mean that it shouldn't be changed. Now, my question is, with all those influencers, with all those people on TikTok, because they said they're YouTubers and influencers as well, right? What are they doing exactly to make sure that these laws are changed? If it's a partner with the men, because I think in such, in such states and in such countries, they listen 
more to men. In fact, they feel like women should not have a voice. Do you understand? So I think if it's a, if it's a partnership with men that share their values to come together and see how those laws can be changed, you know, people will share the same values because I, I find it very absurd and it's quite obs obsolete for for anyone to say that because women are participating in the trending social media stuff, they should be in prison. That Two is like, come on, like that is that is so 1960 something. 1960 is even too recent mm. for them. 1920 something, like it shouldn't be happening now, not in 2020. But and it I think still is, and I think it kind of makes me wake up every time. I feel like because sometimes you can. I made a conscious effort to create my space and who I'm around. And sometimes I think that, yeah, we're really progressive. And yeah, we've gone really far. And then you hear a news like this and I'm like, yeah, nah, there's still a lot of work to be done. Mm, um, too it, much. It, especially with the feminist movement and humanities, so whatever. Anyone who's actually caring about the oppressed, which right now are females, yeah. um, whatever name you want to call yourself, I think it's really important that there's still a lot of space for, for, for work to be done. I don't know how you would put two, uh, put two people in prison for two years because four people actually four. well yeah four people in prison because they participated in the social media stuff like it's crazy to me i'm sorry you can hide behind your religion you can hide behind your culture or whatever but it's still not just an oppressive movement that needs to be shunned um i don't know if it's about pairing with the men but i know that it's been done and we've gone with even nigeria has come for a lot of states have come far in regards to being progressive and just allowing people to decide how they want to live their lives. I don't know much about Egypt, but I'm sure that it's possible to achieve the same thing there. I'm hoping that this story actually gets um, worldwide attention because it's happened before. We've had cases of women, quote unquote, um, going against the rules and the world have come to back them up. A good example is that kid that got shot in the head because she insisted on going to school all the time. And now she's getting awards and she's been gone out of the country. So I'm hoping that they can file refugee refugee statuses for these women. That's the only thing I can see that will happen right now. Not just the revolution, but like a right now solution is to file refugee um, status for these people and get them out of the country because they, they're not criminals. And if then, I say and then, I have anything to <coughs> say, then I will sincerely be lying to myself because it's just sad. Sometimes, even though you have to understand what everyone is going to, you begin to be grateful for some certain things. At the same time, like you said, we have a lot of work to be done. Even in countries that we think are progressive mm. and moving forward, you don't be surprised when something is happening in a small village or a small city somewhere mm. within that progressive um, country. Yeah. So a lot still needs to be done. We need to be better as people. I, I don't know what mindset or what spirit it mm. is that um is dwelling in this kind of people that will make them think that you have to control a human being and tell them what to do and how to do it and what life what makes you the right person to tell someone else what to do and how to do it so uh, my heart really goes out no there because i can't imagine spending two years in prison not because i killed anyone not because i you hurt stole, anyone not because, because i stole just... not because of corruption nothing just when because i saw I this i was like is their leader still pharaoh because mm. I don't understand where why would still have such laws. So but I don't even know who because I know Egypt doesn't even like to associate themselves with the African Union. So I don't even know who they you are can attached them, to. Right? Yeah, like. <clears throat>